I'm fighting for your generation. You've been crushed with outsourcing, offshoring, and paper notes. Living in a world with the Gender 21, the clergy plan, and TV BS. If you want people to pay what you're worth, you need to produce. Let's go on a journey and succeed in the digital realm. Hey guys, it's Andrew here. Today I'm going to be talking about guest blogging. Now, guest blogging is something that I don't do straight up. Normally, I use my other link building techniques first. I probably use Sanook or whatever link building software you decide to use. I've just shown a couple there, which is Magic Submitter and Ultimate Demon, which is another popular one. But after you've used that, and you've used some of the other techniques I used in the early episodes, say as forum commenting and a number of other techniques, and you still haven't got that leverage over those top sites for your keywords, say it's weight loss, then the next thing to try out is guest blogging. Now, guest blogging basically is that you contact an owner of a website that has a bit of page rank. Obviously, you want it relevant to your niche, so if you're trying to rank for weight loss, find something that is weight loss related. Give that person the article and ask for them to link back to your site. So, you could automatically put the code in the article, so as soon as the person gets the article, all they have to do is post it on their website, and you've automatically got a link coming back to your website. It's a bit of hit and miss with this technique because you may have to email quite a few webmasters before you get a reply because not everyone is into this method. You probably want to find websites which do have high page rank on the main page because that normally trickles down to the interior pages of the website. So say for example if the home page is a page rank 4, chances are it might be a page rank 2 eventually if you write some unique content and put it on an internal page. Just going back to this web page here, I've just opened up one of the examples and say we use this site as an example. So say we wanted to get a link on this site here. Now this page is a page rank 5. I haven't even gone to the home page but I'm just guessing it's going to be... Actually let's have a quick look. Okay, so the home page is a page rank 7 and the internal pages are around about a 5. Not saying they all are this high, but this one's considerably high. So say for example if we send a message to the webmaster and they agree to put an article on their site, chances are this article, say we post on this page, we might be able to get a page rank 5 link back to our site, which could be absolutely tremendous with our rankings and it might only take if you know the topic really well, 10 minutes to write that article and especially if you're an expert on that topic. Now what a lot of SEO people do, instead of writing like say 100 articles which might take hours and hours to do and then sending it out to all these webmasters, you want to check with the webmaster first before you send it out otherwise they're just chances are they might just take your content and not actually give you a link. You want to just check with them first that you know if if you give them the content in return they'll give you a link back to your website you just want to tick those boxes first as there is a lot of people out there that just um, aren't willing to communicate and they're happy to get a free article and they'll just take your link out if you've already got it embedded in that article now just before I leave that topic altogether the reason why this is not the most popular linky techniques out there is because it's just it does take time and you do need to get commitment from the third party however it's extremely rewarding if you do get that backlink back to your site because getting a page rank 5 especially if you can get to choose the anchor text and the anchor text is say weight loss with penguin you don't want to always use the same keyword you want to mix it up a little bit and allow for keyword variation maybe put a, a keyword in front or behind just to give it a little bit of a natural feel. I've seen some results from some good SEOs lately that sort of mix up the anchor text with their keyword within the anchor text but put a couple of words either side and it just seems to nudge Google in the right direction in rewarding you with good rankings. Anyway, I think I've sort of covered guest blogging quite well. If you want to find some good blogs, use the SEO Quake tool Find a blog related to your niche because relevance is more important than ever. 
once you find that webmaster send them an email you can usually find under the contact if they accept it send them the article with the link you should get the link back shortly and then the reward is all yours anyway thanks for listening thanks very much bye